Welcome to my channel, A Place to Dock. I'm Julia. This message is for you, Aquarius. Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, and Aquarius Rising. And I'm going to just play one note here with the singing bowl, just to clear your energy, to clear our energy, and to see what does Aquarius need to know for July. So I am so glad that you joined me. I'm glad that you're here with me and that we can see this message together. So thank you. And what we're going to do is use the Salt and Sea Energy Oracle. And I've been shuffling already for Aquarius. And then we're going to use the Mystic Dreamer Tarot. And I'll shuffle it one more time as well. And ask what does Aquarius need to know. And then we're going to use the uh, Art Nouveau. Nouveau. I'm not good at French. Here we have Art Nouveau. And it is a Lenormand deck, which is different than Tarot or Oracle decks. So we're going to use all three and we'll see what message can come out for Aquarius. Okay, so let's start. I'm excited to see what does Aquarius need to know for July. And this is a lovely deck with water and sky and sea and it's just lovely. I love it. Okay, this, oh, you know what? Yeah, this is it. Okay, sea urchin. Maneuver with tenacity and be methodical. Maneuver with tenacity and be methodical. Okay, and now I'm going to say two other cards kind of wanted to come out, so I'm going to read, oh, three. I'll just read them all. All right. So we also have Tsunami. Now is the time to confront your stressors. What are you avoiding? Okay, what are you avoiding there? And then we have another one, the Dolphin. It says embrace your inner child. Okay, awesome. Embrace your inner child. Oh, and the next one is sea glass. Your future is being rewritten. A time for deep healing. All right, this month of July is going to be deep healing for Aquarius. Okay, but we're going to focus on the first card, which is sea urchin. With tenacity, maneuver with tenacity and be methodical. Okay, so what does that mean for Aquarius? Let's see. Oh, okay, we'll take that one that fell out. So maneuver with tenacity and be methodical. So it's going to be a month that you're going to need to be um, focused on whatever you're focusing on so that that tsunami doesn't come and wipe you out. Okay, so, but you have to realize what you're avoiding. That's what that card said and embrace your inner child. So that's going to be fun. Okay, let's see what else does. There we go. Okay, so let's see what the first card was, which I didn't see. Okay, it is the Nine of Wands. Yep, that's right, Aquarius. You've been through an awful lot, and yet you're ready for the next onslaught to come. You think, oh, here it goes again. But you know what? You're stronger. You've been made so strong through all those things you've come through. You're very strong, and you're very capable of doing the next thing that you're called to do. The next one is Justice. Okay, so she, she has the sword, and... In this one she should also have the balancing scales I'm trying to see them oh yeah okay <laughs> here she has the balancing scales and she has the sword so life has to stay in balance for you that is how you're gonna maneuver with tenacity and you're gonna be methodical okay there's a path behind her with that those stairs there's a way up and she has to find the way but you're gonna use the truth and you're going to know the truth and the truth will set you free. That sword is your truth, okay? So when you are needing to maneuver something, you're gonna rely on your truth that you know. Things that you know to be true and you're gonna keep your life in balance. That is how you're gonna to have to maneuver through things that come at you and you're gonna be methodical about it. The next card is the Queen of Swords. She's a very, very smart and astute woman. That's you, Aquarius. You're astute. You are seeing the truth in the matter. And so you have the sword that she holds as the queen of swords, and you have the justice sword. The truth is in your back pocket. You know the truth, and nothing will take you off of that truth. This here is the warrior. This this uh, nine of sword, wands, sorry. The nine of wands has been in many battles. You know the truth, and you know which ones you want to stand by. You know the things that keep you, you just know your truth and you know what you're going to stand for. That's what I wanted to say. You're going to know what you stand for. You're going to know your truth and you're going to be able to cut out anything that is not truthful 
you're going to take that sword and say, no, I don't want this in my life anymore. Or you're going to prune things that make you stronger. And that way you can maneuver. When you need to cut things out, you can maneuver quickly and more with agility. So that's what you're going to seek to do. Because you know what? You're rebirthing yourself here. With that sea glass card that we read at the beginning, you are in a time of deep healing. And you are rewriting your future. How awesome is that? You get to rewrite your future. That is such an amazing thing. I always love that phrase. And with the dolphin, you're going to embrace your inner child. Okay, now we're going to pull some Lenormand cards and see what else can we glean with, with these messages and these thoughts that we've already discovered. So your truth. Okay, this is good. First we have the sun. I love this sun card. The sun is the radiant honesty. It's like blazing truth is coming through. Nothing can stop the sunlight from shining when it's shining. <laughs> Okay, and you are going to be able to embrace that. See, she's holding it. She's taking it in. She's knowing her truth. The next card is the anchor. You are strong, steadfast, and you're not going to be moved. That's what this, when we go back to the tarot deck, this nine of wands knows he's not going to be moved. Things are not going to move him or sway him. He knows the truth, and the truth is going to come through and help you manipulate and maneuver with tenacity by being methodical that's what you're aiming for this month okay so we're going to look at these two together we have the sun and the anchor so the sun is bright and this is strong and steadfast you are definitely in a good place the anchor is holding you firm so your truth is going to give you a lot of brilliance a lot of more insight and you're going to be able to know that you're standing your ground and your position is secure. The next card is the garden, which is awesome. And the garden in Lenormand means a group of people. You might be having a garden party. It is like a group of networking, things that you're working with, people that you work with, people that you enjoy, your close friends and family. So in your, when you read these together, you are the radiant one in your group, okay? You have a group of people, people look to you and say, aha, she knows what she's talking about. I can trust her because she is, she is someone that's very reliable. Okay, that's what that anchor is bringing to, to the forefront here. You are reliable, people can trust you, and people know your truth. When you speak, they listen because they know what you say is true. And that's what you are. You're the queen of swords. You know how to speak your truth. And even if sometimes that blade is sharp, you do it in a gentle way. And you can cut things out and clean them up. Like when you clean a fish, you know, I don't know how to do that, but I know that when you clean a fish, you have a very sharp knife and you get a real clean cut. And that clean cut is what you are going to need so you can maneuver really well through the month of July. Okay, so this I hope helps you Aquarius for this month. Be methodical, you can do it. I know you can. Okay, so have a great month. Thank you so much for watching Aquarius and have a great month. Thanks. Bye for now.